Time to talk about the financial account, which is the second account in the country's balance of payments. The financial account is also sometimes referred to as the capital account. A nation's financial or capital account measures the flow of money between the people of a nation and the rest of the world for investment in real or financial assets. So money that flows into a country from abroad for investments in assets is measured as a positive in the financial account balance. We can say that investment by foreigners in domestic assets will lead to an increase in a nation's financial account balance. There are different types of foreign investment that might occur in a country. The first we call foreign direct investment or FDI. You may have heard of FDI before. Foreign direct investment refers to when a foreign firm invests in at least 10 percent of a domestic firm. An example might be if a French watch company were to buy 10 percent of Swatch, a Swiss watch company, this transaction would be recorded as a positive in Switzerland's financial account since a foreign firm is spending money on assets in a domestic firm. Foreign direct investment also might mean when foreign firms build factories or acquire physical capital in the domestic economy. For example, if a British-based corporation opens an office in Zurich, Switzerland, the money that that company spends on its offices here in Switzerland is recorded as a positive in Switzerland's financial account, since this is foreign investment in the Swiss economy. FDI is one type of foreign investment. The other type that's included in the financial account is known as portfolio investment. Think of an investment portfolio. What kind of assets might foreign investors acquire within an economy that would be recorded as an investment in their portfolio. This includes stocks in companies acquired by foreigners on the stock exchange, government bonds, real estate, or land. It could also include corporate bonds or business bonds. These transactions are recorded in a nation's financial account. Money flowing into the country as foreigners acquire these domestic assets add to the nation's financial account balance. The final transaction that is recorded in a nation's financial account is changes in official reserves of foreign exchange or foreign currencies. Central banks in every country hold on to certain amounts of foreign currencies. An accumulation of foreign exchange reserves occurs whenever there is an imbalance in a nation's current account. So if A is greater than B, then foreign exchange reserves increase. Because when A is greater than B, more money is flowing into a nation than is leaving from trade in goods and services. However, if B is greater than A, then foreign exchange reserves decrease. The accumulation of foreign exchange reserves by a nation's central bank is measured in the financial account of the balance of payments. Changes in foreign exchange reserves occur anytime there is either a surplus or a deficit in the nation's current account balance. Surpluses lead to an increase in foreign reserves, which is considered a foreign asset held by the domestic economy, since the nation's central bank is acquiring foreign exchange, which is a foreign asset. On the other hand, if a country runs a current account deficit, this means that the country is spending more on foreign goods than it is earning from the sale of its domestic goods to the rest of the world. So more of that country's currency is being accumulated by foreign central banks, which is a negative in the financial account, since currency is an asset that is now being held by foreigners. Let's move down to the negative row of our financial account column. The transactions I describe here are all considered negatives in a nation's financial account, and they are basically the opposite of those that counted as a positive. So investment by domestic entities in foreign assets will be counted as a negative in the financial account because money will be leaving the country in order to acquire foreign assets. This includes FDI when a domestic firm invests in at least 10 percent of a foreign firm or builds factories abroad. When this occurs money is leaving the domestic economy causing a negative in the financial account balance. Portfolio investment is also included here. This is when domestic investors buy stocks, bonds, real estate, or land abroad. The acquisition of foreign assets, whether it's government bonds, corporate bonds, stocks in companies, or land, or real estate, 
all leads to a leakage of money from the nation's economy and is recorded as a negative in the financial account balance. Now we can look at the changes in official reserves. If a nation runs a current account surplus, then the central bank's accumulation of foreign reserves will increase due to the fact that more money is entering the country from international trade than is leaving the country. So the official reserves increase, which is recorded as a negative in the financial account. Looking back up in our positive row for the financial account, I should clarify here that if there is a current account deficit, this leads to a decrease in official reserves and a positive in the financial account. Now we can distinguish between a financial account surplus and a financial account deficit. Just like with our current account, if the amount of money flowing into the country for the accumulation of real and financial assets exceeds the amount of money leaving the country for the accumulation of financial and real assets, the country is running a financial account surplus. So in this case, if C is greater than D, the financial account is set to be in surplus. But if D is greater than C, the financial account is in deficit. Here we go.